Hi everyone, my name is Luxury Donkey and today we are uh, having a little introduction into the next series. So we had the straw poll up and we had the results from the actual poll on my YouTube video. Um, there wasn't that many on the YouTube video, I've put one of them in, there was totally the two votes on the YouTube. Uh, one, and one of them was for the city game and one of them was for the dungeon, the scroller or crawler. Uh, I've not put the dungeon crawler in, so we imagine that's four votes um, because every vote does count. Even though the uh, RTS was the clear winner with five votes, it's 29%, and it's this one here, RTS. Um, now RTS standing for real-time strategy um, is the the game we're going to be making uh, now in these upcoming videos had your say and that's what we've decided on and that was kind of the one I wanted to happen as well it's kind of the one that I wanted to come up personally um, because I really like the Age of Empires game and I think it'd be really nice to uh, incorporate some of the ideas from that into it so it's not going to be entirely based off it but it's going to be kind of similar so we need a plan now that's something that really in all the other videos I failed to do um, and it's something that's quite important actually as well because a plan can really make a game more have more in depth and more things in that you wouldn't have thought of on the fly um, and especially in these kind of videos we don't have that much time so having a plan makes it a lot clearer so you know what's coming up um, and I know what to do next what I should be aiming for next so RTS, what kind of aspects are we looking for in an RTS? So let's just start with a little thing here. What kind of things do we want to have? So in this one we're going to make it kind of like a war game, similar to a drum Empires. So we'll connect it up there. We're just going to keep adding things in like this. Um, oops, we don't want that. So what else? What else do we want in an RTS? If it's a war game we're going to want things uh, like troops very important and we're going to have a variety as well a variety of troops so we're going to have all sorts of different things uh, what else do we want we want a AI now the AI um, I'm not going to go into massive depth at the moment but what I'm going to try and keep it, it is I'm going to try and keep it simple um, but all the same still uh, usable so it's going to be simple um, so you can uh, develop it and so that it can fit into these videos nicely uh, but it's going to be usable as an actual game it's not going to be ridiculous AI where they just don't do anything so there's going to be some sort of AI uh, based into it now what else are we thinking? well actually let's, let's move that let's put that one under there we're going to go for an isometric um, design uh, now, the reason why I've chosen to go with an isometric is art is really nice, personally. I like it. Uh, makes it look kind of cool. Uh, it fits to the RTS theme. And also, it's really quite easy to incorporate because so, it's the balance between the 2D and the 3D, and I think personally it just makes the RTS um, better. So it's kind of like the 2D slash 3D aspect so that's why I've gone with the isometric um, going off from this what we'll start uh, doing in probably the next video is we'll just start with like hexagons and then we'll eventually so we might have different colored hexagons and then eventually we'll build that up into actually having proper buildings and stuff there um, and that might be quite a lot later on but we'll just start with hexagons start off with. Um, so what else? What else do we need in an RTS? We need some sort of economy, so some sort of thing to balance. Um, so we just go with economy for the time being. Uh, or resources. It's another thing. Uh, it's, it's basically something which we can save or something you have to be mindful of. It's something to make it more in depth there needs to be some sort of usability um, of it and having some economy to it makes people consider what they're doing more and that's what you want from a good RTS what else we're we gonna have actually not from here going off the troops 
and the variety of troops. Because we want to make the person think, we want to make them uh, think about what they're doing, the troops are going to have different stats. Which in turn will affect battles. Which then leads us on to the next thing, which I put here, battles. And that's going to be based off the troops, based simply off their stats for the time being uh, to start off with, and probably most of the, the series I might add in at the end, but just for the moment it's just going to be purely based on their stats. So you're going to move it into there, and based on the stats, based on a bit of randomization, a certain amount of yours are going to die, a certain amount of theirs are going to die. It could be all, it could be less, depending on where you move them around and stuff. Um, but we'll go with that, and because it is an RTS you can move them mid-battle, um, that will be a thing. It's not just going to be blatantly set out, um, so you can just die. You know, it's going to be there's going to be some thought uh, into where you're putting your troops and how you're using them, um, and that's going to incorporate uh, sieges and stuff against the AI, which will then add the, um, the playability because they can then siege against you. One other thing we're going to add is we're not going to have a random map. Um, the reason why I've chosen that is because in RTS you don't really want it to be honest. You want an in-depth map that's a little bit fun, a little bit different and um, adds lots of challenge in. So we're going to try and do that. We're going to make a challenging I don't know how to say spell challenging but it'll do challenging map. Now to do this we're not going to go in real depth in the video. We're not going to make an amazing map in the video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the techniques. So techniques to making a good map. So instead of just going through and making an amazing map and just taking like hours and hours on it, I'm just going to take maybe 10 minutes show you how to make a section of a map and how you can make it really interesting and different. So that's going to be that kind of aspect of it. So what have we got at the moment? We've got it's a war game, it's an RTS. Um, an economy or resources, and we've got the AI, a challenging map, battles, isometric art. Is there anything else we need? That's one thing I've just remembered. We need some sort of center civilization. So overall it is a war game. We are fighting against other players. But we need somewhere to base your civilization to start off. Um, so I think that's pretty much everything covered uh, for the moment. If I think of anything else I'll add it. But things we're going to be starting work on is in the next video some of these things. Um, just quickly whilst it comes to mind. We need a good UI. A good UI is very important in RTS because there's often a lot of things going on in your screen and it's also quite important to have you know to have some sort of clue about what's going on um, so having a good UI means you can see each individual thing that's happening and you know where your resources are and how you manage them and everything is really clear in front of you so these are the kind of things we're going to be starting off in the next video. Probably start off with the art, get a little bit of that down to start off with so that we can then go into the center of the civilization, then work our way outwards. So we'll then go with the economy, then probably the AR, uh, UI even, then kind of build outwards from that. So then the troops, then the AI, then the map, then the battles. So kind of the, the way of progression. Um, so yeah, that is the plan for the RTS game. Um, we'll just entitle this RTS game. You can, if you want to, if you've got any suggestions for things that I should add to this plan, things you'd like to see on this RTS, um, then feel free to drop a comment or just uh, send me an email, whatever you want. Um, but for the moment, this is the things I'm going to be working on in the next few videos. So if you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, or just do what you guys want to do, and look out for the other videos in the future.